It's been nearly a month since the deadliest shooting in modern American history, and without a doubt, our nation's most unthinkable instance of campus violence. Families across the country and Virginia Tech community continue to grieve, and we always will. But in the aftermath of that dark April day, our challenge is to learn not only more about what occurred in Blacksburg, but also what we can do to ensure college campuses are well equipped to handle tragedies such as this. The response to an event of this magnitude, as all of us would suspect, has been as swift as it has been broad. Local, state, and federal law enforcement immediately engaged, both for the purposes of ensuring safety, but also to investigate the sordid details of this sad case. Virginia's governor has assembled a panel of experts to review every conceivable aspect of the campus shooting. And colleges and universities have begun to look inward, re-examining their own emergency response plans. Today, this, this committee has the opportunity to contribute to the national dialogue on the safety of our college campuses as well. And I thank our witnesses for joining us this morning to help us do just that. At the outset, I believe it's important to note that this is not a Republican or Democrat issue. Rather, this is an issue in which we all share feelings of anger, sorrow, and yes, responsibility. Not responsibility for what occurred in Blacksburg on April 16th, as the responsibility for that day's events lies squarely with a single gunman who acted selfishly, brutally, and without regard for human life. But responsibility to join with other stakeholders to trigger a national discussion on how to improve response efforts for the next time an emergency situation occurs on a college campus. The goal of today's hearing is straightforward, to listen and to learn. As we organized our panel of witnesses and our agenda, we made certain that our objective was not to advocate or dismiss a particular policy change or piece of legislation. Rather, we have assembled four men and women who can share their unique perspectives on how to deal with unexpected tragedies on college campuses. For example, I'll be eager to hear their thoughts on, on ways various departments within institutions have coordinated in immediate response to an on-campus incident. What campuses are doing with regard to emergency notification systems? What research is being done in the area of threat assessments? And how various campuses have dealt with unexpected tragedies? In short, we're here to discuss with our panel the question of whether there are certain standards or best practices that could be followed for bolstering security and emergency notification on campus. Because a campus security office can take many forms and because campuses can vary from small, one-building colleges to colleges that sprawl several acres to colleges that are, that are in the middle of a bustling city, trying to develop suggestions for standards that will fit all different types of campuses is difficult. However, it is the responsibility of all stakeholders to take on this challenge, and this committee is no exception. Mr. Chairman, with that in mind, I look forward to our witnesses' testimony. 